Hello people, yeah, so again continuing with the series uh, uh, first service. If you're having some trouble shifting gear, uh, that only means one thing. First, uh, maybe the chain slack is not properly adjusted. Video coming up on that shortly. Second, the chain is not lubed, not cleaned. And third thing is, which is neglected most often, is this one. So this video is gonna be about clutch lever slack. So how do we check that? Uh, measuring tape or a scale would even do that the recommended slack is supposed to be somewhere between 10 to 15 mm that's common for pretty much all the bikes so here we go so this has to be measured edge to edge as you can see and 10 20 30 so this is on the weaker side too much of play now on the older end field uh, the 411 that is there was not the provision of adjusting it from this side and you had to go to the clutch side that is on the brake lever side but here it can easily be done so all we need is two pliers one would also do but yeah if you have two pliers that would make things slightly easier just have to loosen this so hold this in and turn this from down to up that's loose and now we have to rotate that if I'm standing on the gear lever side we have to rotate that clockwise as you saw now let's see what the slack is at again crossing 17 inch that's again too much simple fix now at 20 and there we go yeah this is perfect if it is too tight that will burn up your clutch very fast so you have to emphasize you have to just pay attention to the fact that it has to be between 10 15 mm that's it and this is smooth gear shift and everything this thing is done so we are gonna just bring this one in and then tighten it now this is going anti-clockwise just holding it from here if this gets loose again you're gonna get a lot of problems so that's done now another thing is just rotate the handlebar on either side though that is not necessary because you'll be riding straight pretty much always so but still just to make sure that the cable is all right again coming same on this side again coming same and uh, yeah so just make sure this will make clutch liver very smooth and it is smooth already on this one I don't think you need any easy clutch or anything like that uh, you can offer that but yeah nonetheless Okay, for the next part, and I'm sure I'm gonna get a lot of this on this, but trust me, I have been trying it for years now, and it does work, is about, so yeah, that is about greasing this clutch yoke, and trust me, it does wonders, extends your chain life, uh, I'm sorry, extends your clutch life. The only thing is, every now and then, you'd have to keep cleaning and re-greasing it. I would say anywhere between 500 to 700 kilometers. If you see, there is still some grease, so you don't have to overdo it, I'll show you this on the old Himalayan as well, but first let me show how it is done. Press it in. If you can see that's the wire, just a little bit on that and a little bit on where the ankle is. So that would be here. Just do it this. One more small tab, just like a teardrop. Don't overdo it, that's a problem. People tend to get emotional and end up, end up overdoing it so press it a few times because the grease has to enter this part as well this is where the wire actually breaks if you would have seen that is one point the second point is where it is connected to the clutch box so that would do it and this will make sure that this is going to last for a very long time. Now let me show you why I say this before you start dissing me. 
And second point is this where the clutch lever actually breaks from, but don't have to overdo it, don't have to do anything here. It will still last for a very long time, this portion. But that is the most critical point. With the old Himalayan, as you can see, this has gotten a bit dirty, so I'll be using just some tissue papers just to clean it. And see, and I'll show you. The bike has done 41,400. Meter was not working for about 1500, so yeah, the bike is done about 43,000, still running on the original clutch. And if you can see the condition, it's still in good nick, not even a single wire has broken. And I think this will go on for another 10,000 easily. So let me just clean it. So just basically root tissue, just clean the own one. And that is a problem. If you just don't clean it every now and then, this is what makes that grinding paste, what people talk about. Don't have to overdo it again, but just slightly. Gonna need another rag. Pause. You can do it overboard by going and cleaning it with petrol and all, but trust me, or some other cleaning agent, cleaning fluid, but that is not needed. Just have to get this much off. And now let's regrease it. Again, open it. And if you see the wire, just have to make sure we put it there, press it a few times so that it enters the wire outer actually some of it here and then for another 700,000 kilometers even that's it that is all that is needed and we are done that was it uh, rest is up to you you can keep dissing me or I have showed you the live example of how that bike has lasted almost 43,000 without ever worrying about the clutch wire being uh, broken and I have done actually 70,000 kilometers on one bike before the clutch wire actually gave up. So it does, does work, the only thing is you have to keep cleaning, you just cannot keep reapplying, reapplying because then it will form into that grinding paste that everyone talks about. And uh, that was it, let me know if uh, you have been doing your and how long your clutch wire has lasted. Take care, cheers, bye.